Let's have a quick look at the Python assignment operators that we viewed in the previous videos. We can see that they're here and we can see they go from the top to the bottom. Now in this particular video we'll be interested in having a look at this assignment operator here which is referred to as the subtract and assignment operator. Let's have a look at this computer program here. When this program executes the runtime will look as you can see here. And what we're now going to do is to have a look at each line of the code in turn and describe what it does. So if we look at this one here, we can see that we have a variable x being created and it's loaded with the number 10, the value 10. So x after this assignment statement has the value of 10. If we go to the next line here, y is assigned 1, we can see y being created and 1 being assigned to it. Now, of course, the next program statement simply outputs the content of x to the visual display unit in other words the value of x and we can see it's 10 as we would expect because we can see this 10 actually in variable x now the next line of code is shown here which is x is assigned x minus y now when this program statement is executed it will control the hardware and of course the hardware it will control will be the arithmetic and logic unit which is inside the central processing unit and we can represent that here as you can see by the words ALU standing for arithmetic and logic unit. Now when this program statement executes what it will do is this it will take the contents of X and Y a copy of them and will pass those to the inputs of the arithmetic and logic unit and then they will subtract. Now the reason the subtract takes place is if we have a look at this operator here we can see that is the subtract operator. Now the output from the arithmetic and logic unit well obviously that will be 9 and then this 9 which is the result of the subtraction will be assigned to the variable x as you can see here. Now what we will do we will go on to this statement print x and of course we can see that x is now printed to the visual display unit. Now here we can see the computer program that we were looking at a moment ago with one alteration on one of the lines and it's this line here. You see this x subtract assign y replaced what was there before which was x is assigned x minus y. Now when we run this program what we will see is what we get here. We can see that the output is the same as it was before. So although I've changed the line in the code, we can see the output's the same, which implies that the line does the same as what it did before. And that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at this subtract assign statement. So if we now consider each line in turn, we can see we have the variable x created and it's given the value of 10. And then the next line, well, that's going to create y, which gives the value 1. And then we go on to the next line here, which prints x to the screen, and we can see that the output is what's stored in x, which is obviously, in this case, 10. Then we go on to do this one here. Again, I like to look at the arithmetic and logic unit here, so here we can see it. And what's going to happen is that the inputs to the arithmetic and logic unit are going to be derived from the variables. A copy is transferred from the variables x and y. Now the next thing that will happen is we subtract, as you can see here. The subtraction will obviously give us a 9 at the output, and then this 9 is then assigned to x. So what we have just seen is a subtraction followed by an assignment. And of course, if I now go on to the next line, which is the print x, it will simply output to the screen that the value is 9, which is what we would expect because we can see x has the value of 9. Therefore, x subtract assign y is equivalent to x assign x minus y. Now, this is read as from x subtract y assign the result to x. Therefore, x subtract assign 1 is equivalent to x assign x subtract 1. So, x minus assign 1 can be used to decrement x by 1, x subtract assign 2 can be used to decrement x by 2, and finally we can see this last one here can be used to decrement x by 16. 
Let's have a quick look at the assignment operators again. Now these here will operate in a similar way and will be covered later in the playlist. And something we need to remind ourselves of, or to be introduced to I should say at this stage, is that if we look at the assignment operators again, these here are often referred to as augmented operators. <laughs>